Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up. Today, we're going to watch a Keanu Reeves vehicle from 2005, just below my 2007 cutoff for the channel, called Constantine. But first, let's try to sell you guys some of my novels. Okay, hopefully you guys bought some books. Books are very important to me, even though this channel is about film. I sort of learned how to write stories for my love of film, which carried over into my books. Anyway, Constantine. This is a film that came out in 2005, rated R, runs two hours, one minute. And this is an action fantasy horror film starring Keanu. And Constantine is one of those movies that is sort of stuck around. A supernatural exorcist and demonologist, John Constantine, helps a policewoman prove her sister's death was not a suicide, but something much more. Okay, that's the plot. And this stars Keanu Reeves, Rachel Weisz, and Jimon Honsao. How do you pronounce that name? Somebody tell me. And this is one of those movies, it's not even really a guilty pleasure watch. It's a notch above that. I mean, I really enjoy Constantine. I always have. And I think one of the reasons I like it is it's got a really stacked cast. Most notably, Keanu's really good. Rachel Weisz is really good. Jimon Honso is really good. Shia LaBeouf as the uh, sidekick is actually very, very good. Tilda Swinton is excellent in this, as she always is. And Peter Stormare, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right, but you know who I'm talking about. He's been in a million things, including Fargo and some other stuff, but... He is one of the most compelling versions of Satan I've seen in film ever. And a lot of people, when they're talking about, you know, Satan in film, they bring up his performance in this. So this is an action fantasy horror mystery. And like I said, it's rated R. There's a lot of violence, demonic images. But this is an awesome movie overall. Spoiler on that. I mean, I like Constantine a lot. I will always watch this movie when I got nothing better to do. Seen it a bunch of times. It's been many years though, so upon this rewatch, I was pleasantly surprised with how good it is. Yes, the CGI is a little dated, as you would expect, but it's used very sparingly and tastefully, and Keanu's performance is excellent. He definitely shows a bit more range in this than he would in something like, uh, I don't know, I mean, he's most known for like The Matrix. I think he shows more range in this, actually. So let me know what you think of that, but I don't know. I like Constantine. Now, they kind of deviated from the comics and the character who was English and blonde and so on. But it did raise awareness for the character. Now you see Constantine stuff all over the place. The comic run was interesting, DC Comics, but not something I really wanted to collect. I think it's neat. I really like how this movie features a bunch of like lore about stuff we all kind of have come to think that we know about. And it sort of keeps you on the edge of your seat. You're always guessing where it's going, what the rules are, and I find it fascinating, much like the prophecy in that way. See my review on that one. But... I would recommend Constantine over the Prophecy films, although I really enjoy those. I think this is even better. It's just a good, solid film. I don't think you can go wrong with it. I know it's a fairly short review, but there's not much to say about this one as far as why you should watch it, why it's good. It's just sort of cut and dry a good film. So with that being said, I'm going to give it a number score, and I would have to give Constantine an 8 out of 10. I think that's fair. I'm very tempted to say 8.5 out of 10. But I think it's just an 8 out of 10. It's not mind-blowing, but it's good. It's a solid, solid film. It's a lot of fun to watch. It sort of reminds me in the sense of like the first Underworld, which I should really review as well, because I went back and watched that one recently, and I was surprised at how good it was and how good it looked. Constantine looks okay, but it's a really good story. You know, the sets are all right. Nothing mind-blowing. It's just kind of neat. Some of the CGI is a little meh, but it's still pretty good. And an 8 out of 10 is more than watchable. That's something that you should go out of your way to go watch. So I think this is one of those ones you should look up tonight if you don't have anything else to watch or anything else on the agenda. And go watch Constantine. I don't think you're going to be disappointed, but if you are, leave it in the comments. Disagreeing about films is actually a very healthy thing. It's what makes the uh, conversation spark. And it makes us debate what we did like and what we didn't like. And remember, it's all subjective. It's about your life history, your life experiences, and how these films hit you at the time that you watched them, and your overall take on it. And remember, the point of the channel is, do they hold up? Are they still good? Everybody loved Constantine when it came out. Do you still love it? And I can say, happily, yes. 
I still really love Constantine the film. I think it's great. It's a really good Keanu movie. So highly recommend. Go check it out. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I will see you guys next time on Is It Still Good? Ha 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 ha!